We continue now at the top of Daf Chesam and Aleph and Masechus Rosh Hashanah. This is Rosh Hashanah Daf 8a. The Gemara says, V'harei Yovlos, but what about Yovlos, which is listed in our Mishnah? Rashi over here says, V'harei Yovel, Shuhutoli Bitkiah. Yovel is dependent on Tkiah, it's dependent on the blowing of the shofar. And we just said in the previous summit that we only list Rosh Hashanahs in our Mishnah that are not dependent on another action. And so the Gemara answers, Rabbi Yishmol ben Oshel, Rabbi Yochanan ben Broka. He, our Mishnah follows the opinion of Rabbi Yishmol ben Oshel, Rabbi Yochanan ben Broka, that again, you do not need the Tekiah to bring in the Yovel, rather right at the beginning of Rosh Hashanah, right at the beginning of Tishrei, that's when the Yovel year begins. And the Gemara continues with another answer to the question on the previous summit, it says there are only four Rosh Hashanahs when there are really more. Ravashi Yom Ravashi says, Arba Rosh Hashanim Heim Shehein Ba'arba Rosh Hashanim. What the Mishnah means is that there are four Rosh Hashanahs that fall out on Rosh Chodesh. There, there may be more Rosh Hashanahs, but those don't fall out on Rosh Chodesh. And so the Gemara asks, Be'echa b'shvat k'be'shamay. But one of those four is the first of Shvat that follows Be'shamay. Why would we list Be'shamay's opinion? And the Gemara says, Hachi Kamer, this is what the Mishnah means. Shalosh ledivrei hakol. There are three Rosh Hashanahs that fall out on Rosh Chodesh according to everyone. Be'echad b'shvat, when it comes to the Rosh Hashanah and the first of Shvat, machlokas be'shamay u'be'shilo. That's a machlokas between be'shamay and be'shilo. Rashi over here says, Ravashi Yomar Haidal Khash bin Masnis and Allah Arbo, the reason why our mission only has four Rosh Hashanas, Lafishalomon El Rosh Hashanim Haboim Barashe Khadashim, because we're only counting the Rosh Hashanas that fall out on Rosh Chodesh, Bain Regolim and Aminyan Allah Kadamrin and Regal Shabov. So so for example, Regolim's not gonna count because again the Regolim really doesn't fall out on the first of the month. Ulachi Lotani Nami Rosh Hashanah to Omer Shtay Alechem, that's also why we don't count the Rosh Hashanah of the Omer and the Shtay Alechem. So the Gemara asks, if so, on the first of Shvat, the opening line of the Mishnah is following Beishamai. Beishelel say that it's two Beishvat. So the Gemara answers, Yeah, the town of the Mishnah does count the first of Shvat as the four Rosh Hashanahs, as one of the four. And then it gets explained further at the end of the Mishnah. Be'echad b'shvat, Rosh Hashanah le'ilon divri Beis Shammai, telling you that on the first of Shvat is only Rosh Hashanah le'ilon according to Beis Shammai. Le'meim radoha desosim b'reish arba Rosh Hashanim, b'rosh Hashanim lav divri akoli, yela ha'beis Shammai koi, means to tell you that which we said at the beginning of the Mishnah, that there are four Rosh Hashanahs that fall out on Rosh Chodesh, that's not according to everybody, that's only according to Beis Shammai. And Rashi over here continues, shalosh ala divri akol, three according to everybody, lav davka, Rashi points out, it's not exactly three according to everybody. Because the first of Elul also is a subject to a machlokis, because Rebbe Lazar and Rebbe Shimon, as we're about to say, they hold again that the Rosh Hashanah for Meister Behem is the first of Tishrei. Ela Beis Hillel Koi, rather the point over here is everybody meaning within the opinions of Beis Hillel. And the Gemara continues at the two dots, quoting the Mishnah, Rebbe Lazar and Rebbe Shimon, Omrim Be'echad B'Tishrei, Rebbe Lazar and Rebbe Shimon say, that when it comes to Meister Behema, the Rosh Hashanah is the first of Tishrei. And again, that's a machlokis. The other opinion was it's the first of Elul. And so the Gemara says, Amr Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan says, Ushneim Mikra Echad Darshu. Both opinions, they darsh in the same Pasuk. This is a Pasuk in Tehillim. Shenemar, like the Pasuk says, Love Shu Karim Hatzon Vamokim Yatfu Bor, Yisroa Af Yashiru. Rashi over here explains, Love Shu Karim Hatzon Mikru Besefer Tehillim. This is a Pasuk in Tehillim. Love Shu Karim Hatzon Vamokim Yatfu Bor, Yisroa Af Yashiru. Means to say as follows. Love shukarim hatzon mislabshos hakavosim shemesabros. It means that the the sheep almost like they're wearing clothing, meaning they become pregnant. Yatzvu bar shehazriat so meches when he keres yafe. That's the time that you can see things blossoming. You can see those things that are planted; they start growing. Yisro af yashiru. Then the pasuk talks about the fact that it's singing. That refers to benisan. That refers to the month of Nisan. Kishiyagi azman hakotzer. That's the time of the harvest. Vatzvu abekashim shalav aruch min hashevis. So you have the grain is in the stalks and the wind blows. Bangs against one another. So then you can start hearing the grain, so to speak, and it seems like it's singing. So those are two separate times for the grain. There's the time the grain is growing and there's the time the grain is uh, is singing, so to speak. And so the Gemara now explains how they darshan the psukim in different ways. Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Meir says, Amos, I love Shukaram Atzon. When is it that the animals are becoming pregnant? Bizman shamokim yatsvuvar. It's the time again that the uh, that the plants are blossoming. Veimasayin when is veimasayin mokim yatsvuvar and when is that? Baadar mis baadar. That's in the month of Adar. Misabros baadar viyoldos baav. So it comes out according to Rimeir, the animals are getting pregnant in Adar and they're giving birth in Av. Rosh Hashanah shalahen elul and therefore if you're going to make the Rosh Hashanah for Meiser Behema, 
for taking off, for separating out, for separating out every tenth animal, that's going to be right after it's going to be on Rosh Chodesh Elul. So in other words, again, if the animals are actually giving birth and av, that's when the new animals, so to speak, are being born. So then the Rosh Hashanah is going to be Elul. Rebbe Loz of Rebbe Shimon, Omer, Rebbe Loz of Rebbe Shimon say, no, the way you understand the Pasuk is as follows. Amos, I love Shukarim Hasson. When are the animals becoming pregnant? Bizman she yisroo af yashiru. It's at the time that the grain is singing. And Amos, I shibolim omro shiru. When are the stalks singing? Benison, that's in Nisan. So mezabros benison. So the animals are getting pregnant in Nisan. Viyoldos be'el. And they're giving birth in El. So Rosh Hashanah shalahen tishrei. So again, according to Rebbe Loz and Rebbe Shimon, the Rosh Hashanah in terms of Maeser Behemah is going to be tishrei. And so the Gemara says, V'idach nami yoksiv yisro af yashiru. But the other one also doesn't talk about, doesn't it talk about in the Pasuk singing? What do they do with that phrase of the Pasuk? So the Gemara says, Ahu ba'felta dahavion benison. So the Gemara says, yeah, that's true. That's talking, there are animals that they get pregnant a little bit later in Nisan. In other words, there are some animals that get pregnant in Nisan. But again, the majority are going to be an Adar according to Rabbi Meir. And the Gemara continues, V'idach nami yoksiv ha'amokim ya'atfuvar. But Rabbi Lazar and Rabbi Shimon doesn't the Pasuk say that ve'amokim ya'atfuvar. So again, it indicates the pregnancy of the animals is in Adar. So Ahu Bechar Fiyasa, the Asin May Adar. So again, Rabbi Lazar and Rabbi Shimon will say that that applies to the animals that get pregnant a little earlier than the normal time. It happens from Adar. And so the Gemara says, Bishlam al Rabbi Meir. I understand according to Rabbi Meir, Kidich Siv, you read the Pasuk in the proper order. Lav Shukarim Hatzon, Bizman Shamakim Yatfuvar. So in other words, the animals become pregnant when, when the, when the, when the field is full of, uh, is full of grain in Adar. And there are also those a little later that get pregnant in the month of Nisan. But according to Rebbe Lozer and Rebbe Shimon, the Pasuk should be written in the other direction. It should say, It should say the animals are getting pregnant at the time of Nisan. And there are some a little earlier in the month of Adar. Why would you mention the Amokim Yatsvuvar? Why would you mention the month of Adar earlier if that's just the, the minority? And so the Gemara says, Elama Rava, rather Rava says, the Kuli Alma love Shukarim Atzon, Bizman Shamokim Yatsvuvar Ba'adr. You have to say everyone understands the Pasuk the same way. The majority of the animals are getting pregnant in the month of Adar at the time that the grain is in the fields. And here, the Machlokas between Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Loz Rabbi Shimon is in the following Pasuk, a different Machlokas altogether. Pasuk says, Aser to Aser, it says you should take off Meiser. So, Bishnei Meiser Sakasu Medaber, it uses a double Lush and it uses a double language. And it's talking about two separate Meisers. Echad Meiser Behemav, Echad Meiser Dagon. It's, the Pasuk is referring to Meiser Behemav when we separate out every tenth animal. And also to the idea of Meiser Dagon when we separate out one tenth of the grain. Rabbi Meir Sava, Rabbi Meir holds Makish Meiser Behemav, Meiser Dagon, that we should compare Meiser Behemav and Meiser Dagon. Ma Meiser Dagon, Samuch Legomro Isuro. Just like by Meiser Dagon, at the time that you finish it up, when it is a finished product, that's the time of the Meiser. Af Meiser Behema, Samach Legomro Isuro. So to by Meiser Behema, the, the way you determine when Rosh Hashanah is, is when it finishes, so to speak. Rashi will explain. For Rebbe Lozer, Rebbe Shimon, Savri, and Rebbe Lozer, Rebbe Shimon, hold Makish Meiser Behema, Meiser Dagon. You compare Meiser Behema to Meiser Dagon as follows. Ma Meiser Dagon, just like my Meiser by grain. Rosh Hashanah Shalot Tishrei, the Rosh Hashanah of grain is Tishrei. Af Meiser Behema, Rosh Hashanah Shalot Tishrei. So to when it comes to Meiser Behema, the Rosh Hashanah is going to be Tishrei. And Rashi over here explains, Meiser Dagon, Samach Lagam Isuro, Rosh Hashanah Lameiser is Tishrei. The Rosh Hashanah for Meiser Dagon, for the Meiser of grain is Tishrei. Da'achit Tani Le'el Kamon B'Braisa, that's going to be taught later on in the Braisa. But Tishrei Samach Lagamaru. Now Tishrei is right near when the grain becomes a finished product. Da'kol Yemos Acham Amanichem Liyavish B'Gronish HaBesadus. Because during the summertime, you actually let the grain dry out in the fields. And then Tishrei comes, that's the end of the summer, that's the time of the Meiser. And so therefore, again, according to that opinion, according to Rabbi Meir, you go by the fact, just like Meiser Dagon, it's near the time when it's a finished product. So too over here, it's near the time when it's a finished product, meaning the animals are born in Av, that's when they're a finished product, so to speak. So the Rosh Hashanah, according to Rabbi Meir, is going to be Elul. But according to Rabbi Lazar and Rabbi Shimon, we do a direct comparison. Just like Meiser Dagon, so the Rosh Hashanah is Tishrei, so too when it comes to Meiser Behemoth, the Rosh Hashanah is Tishrei, it doesn't matter the fact that the animals are born in Av. The Gemara continues that the two dots, quoting the Mishnah, B'echad B'tishrei Rosh Hashanah L'shanam, on the first of Tishrei is the Rosh Hashanah for the years. Gemara says, Lamai Hilchiso, what's the halacha that this is relevant to? Amar Rapapa L'shtaras. Rapapa says, we're talking about documents. You have to know when the Rosh Hashanah, when the beginning of the year is, in order to date the documents properly. 
The Tanan, as we learned in the Mishnah, Shtar Echov HaMukdomen Psulim. If you have a Shtar Chov, if you have a document that's the, to collect the debt, if the date is too early, it's Pasul. But if the date is a little later than the debt actually was, so then it's still Kasher. And so again, you need to know when the new year starts in order to date the Shtaras properly. But the Gemara says one second, Vatanan, but we also learned in our Mishnah, Viachod ben Nisan, Rosh Hashanah, Lemelochim, it says on the first of Nisan, is the Rosh Hashanah for kings. Viamrina on Lemai Hilchasan, we asked for what is the halacha, what does that mean? It's the Rosh Hashanah for kings in terms of a halachic ramification. Viamar of Chisel Ishtaris. And if Chisel said that's also talking about documents, because again, they used to date the documents according to the reign of the king. So that would mean it's exactly the same. It's a contradiction in the Mishnah. In one place it says the first of Nisan is Rosh Hashanah Lemelochim, meaning documents. And in the other place it says that the first of Tishrei is Rosh Hashanah Lashanim, which we're saying means documents. And so the Gemara answers, Lokash, it's not difficult. Kan Lamalche Yisrael. In one case we're talking when you're dating according to the Jewish kings. Kan Lamalche Umosa Olam. In the other case we're going by the non Jewish kings. In other words, by Jewish kings, their reign is considered to start from the month of Nisan. By non-Jewish kings, the reign is considered to start from the month of Tishrei. That's how you resolve the contradiction in the Mishnah. But the Gemara says, one second, But that which Rav Chista said, He said, when we count from Nisan, that's only for Jewish kings. But when it comes to the non-Jewish kings, we count from Tishrei. Rav Chista, Mas Nisan, Asal Ashminan, is Rav Chista teaching us the same thing that's in the Mishnah? And so the Gemara says, no, lo, no, Rav Chista, Kroy Asal Ashminan. Rav Chista is coming to teach us Psukim. As Rashi over here says, Kroy Asal Ashminan, Kedamran Beresh Pirkin, Divrei Nechemya Ben Chakalya. At the beginning of the parak, we went through all these Psukim and Nechemya to try to demonstrate how you read these Psukim, because again, by Jewish kings we're counting from certain months, by non Jewish kings from certain months, and we explained early in the Masechta how you understand all of those Psukim. That's what Rav Chista was trying to teach us. Vibay Zeman, if you want, I could say another answer. Rav Chista Karebi Zeira Masnila. Rav Chista actually learns the Mishnah like Rabbi Zeira. Rashi over here says, Rav Chista, who says that he needs to teach us that when it comes to the non-Jewish kings we count from Tishrei, he doesn't hold of Rav Papa that the phrase Rosh Hashanah L'Shanim in the Mishnah means Shtaros. Rather, he learns Rabbi Zeira's explanation of the word Lashanim when it says that the Echod B'Tishrei is Rosh Hashanah Lashanim. He follows Rabbi Zeira. Demasni the Rabbi Zeira Masni Rosh Hashanah Lashanim let Kufas Chamu Levana because Rav Rav Zeira on the Mishnah he says that Rosh Hashanah Lashanim means for the Tkufas Cham and Levana Lomar Shemon and Livriyos and Vihiluchan Shal Tkufas Chamu Molados Halavana Mitishrei, meaning we count the seasons, so to speak. Of the sun and the moon, that count starts from Tishrei. As the Gemara explains, the Rabbi Zeira Amar Litkufa, Rabbi Zeira says when it says that the first of Tishrei is the Rosh Hashanah Lashanim, it means for the seasons of the sun and the moon, or for the cycles of the sun and the moon. Rebbe Lazar, and this, the Mishnah follows Rebbe Lazar, the Yomar B'Tishrei Nivra Olam. Rebbe Lazar says that the world was created in Tishrei, and so the cycles of the sun and the moon, that all gets counted from Tishrei. And the Gemara continues, Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchok Amar, Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchok says, Lidin, when it talks about the fact that Tishrei, the first of Tishrei, is Rosh Hashanah Lashanim, it's talking about for judgment. The Chsiv, like the Pasuk says, May Reishas Hashanah, the Arach Rishonah, it says from the beginning of the year until the end of the year, May Reishas Hashanah Nidon Mayahe Besofa. From the beginning of the year, there's already a judgment what will be at the end of the year. Rashi over here says, Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak Gama Rosh Hashanah Lashanim, the Tanaim, when it says Rosh Hashanah Lashanim in the Mishnah, the idea is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu judges in Tishrei all of the people of the world, everything that's going to happen from one Tishrei to the next. And the Gemara continues, How do you know this Pasuk is referring to Tishrei, that from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, that judgment is from Tishrei? Because the Pasuk says, It talks about blowing the shofar, which holiday is this referring to? And we'll continue with this discussion in the next video on Dafches Ahmed Base.